Hi everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road and I am so happy to be a part of the creative team for Craft O'Clock. So today I'm sharing with you a little mini album that I made using the Carols in the Snow collection. I am telling you that I love this paper. I love to touch this paper. I love to play with this paper. I love this paper. It's outrageous. So I just could not wait to share with you um, what I made, one of the projects that I made using this new collection, and I'm going to just get started right away. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, this um, video is not about actually the construction of the album. If you are interested in how I made the album, um, you can take a look at um, the other video series I have where I actually made the same type of thing, but using a different paper collection. I used Greenery Charm and the I Do, it was like a wedding keepsake album, but it's the same concept. It uses the same type of uh, construction. So I, and this one, I added a little tie, which I love, because it matches the little thing. And let me get a little bit closer here. Um, I'm not gonna do a lot of fancy zooming or things like that. I'm just really gonna share it and um, use good old fashioned holding it closer so that you can see, okay? Look at that. Now this is one of, uh, this thing that says Christmas time is one of the Project Life cards that comes with the collection. And everything is available separately so that you don't have to have, um, you know, the things that you wouldn't ordinarily use. There's a lot of fussy cutting involved. So if you are not uh, into that, then certainly you wouldn't have to do that. But um, the papers are beautiful anyway. Now when you open it up, then... And this is not really like any type of pattern or anything. It's just something I made. Literally just a project I made. This is from the quotes um, and more extras. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Look how cute that is. Look at the glitter. Not everything is glitter. That is from the extras to cut, um, which is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And you literally just cut stuff out. And then I made this. Oh, and do I have a... I don't have a, a photo this size, but I added a flap here so that you could put a little photo if you like um, that kind of thing. This I left blank because I thought sometimes, you know how sometimes at Christmas time you get like little tags that you like and you just want to save it. This might be a neat place to do that. And here's a neat little quote again from the Project Life kit. And you can, th but look, but look at the paper itself is this. I didn't do anything right here. This I adhered some of the extras you could tell the glittery but this was just the paper look how it is I love it then in the next page this is an envelope style album so each little page has a pocket okay um, not the first few because I had to get into it somehow but um, yeah and these I added here's some uh, more embellishments from the extras to cut isn't that cute and there is a spot, let me just give you an idea here. This is a uh, just a, any three and a half by five and a half picture that would go here. Okay, and then like let's say you have other pictures that you wanted to keep, you could put them in there. Or other little notes or Christmas cards that you liked or whatever. Just a neat little keepsake. Oops, the next page. Here's, I love this all these little embellishments and I'm trying to tip it so you can see the glitter and not everything is glittered you'll see this is not but this is and the glitter that comes on there they call it premium on the craft o'clock papers it um, bends with the here's another piece that I didn't use like one of the ornaments it's a pretty heavy cardstock and it bends with it and the glitter doesn't crack or come off and it doesn't come off on your fingers either. It's just really, really, really nice. This um, I added and this is actually from the little envelopes to cut and I made this little envelope into a little secret surprise where you could put a two by two photo right there. And I used one of the, oops, one of the die cuts for a tab and then on the back, Another two by two photo will fit and it fits right into that envelope. Isn't that cute? And I have a magnet closure there. And then this is a pull out that is just one of the other little accent, Project Life accents. And then I put space where you could put 
uh, two by two, two and a half by two and a half square photo here and here. And um, slide that in there. And I left this blank because we've got a lot going on over here. So I didn't want to do some overkill. And then here again, space for another uh, three and a half by five and a half photo, which would fit perfectly right there. And then another pull out. Look at the presents. And then the quote here, this is from the quotes page that you can get with the collection. And here's another Project Life card and I just added a tab. And then here's room for a three by five photo um, that would go like this, let's just say. And then you could slide that back in there. Wouldn't that be a cute idea? Okay, and then um, here's another little quote from the Project Life pack. And I added um, a few embellishments to that. Like this wasn't there, this wasn't there. But look at the paper. And um, the way that I did the envelopes, I added a little bit of an extra allowance. You could see there's an eighth of an inch allowance on each one of the pages to hold things that you put inside each envelope. Here I added an extra flap so that you could put a photo here if you wanted and then this would fold and I tried to make it so you didn't have like photos folding against photos because that can be funny if you have glossy photos this I love this page I love this little page I call it a page but I mean if you're a scrapbooker you call it a page it, it's really more like a little card truly here's another little envelope uh, pouch or here or little envelope space and look at the tree look at the wood I love it and it's a double-sided paper collection um, I use the 8 by 8 size in the carols in the snow but they also have a 12 by 12 size and a 6 by 6 size as well and then they also have an 8 by 12 it's like a um, not like an 8 and a half by 11 it's just a little bit longer Here's another place for a photo. And then in here, Magical Time, that came with the quotes. And all this I just added to the already beautiful paper. And then here's a pull out again for a photo that would go right there. And then space for another photo that could go right there. Isn't that nice? I just love it. And then here's how it ends. And uh, there's not a whole, whole lot of dimension. I mean, there's a little bit of thin foam underneath here for, for some variety. But, you know, I had to be mindful that we're, we're going to want to close this and put it somewhere. I love this deer paper. I like that you can, um, that the designs are such that you could make even some masculine cards or pages or things that it's not so um, feminine. I mean, a lot of this is, but you can choose that. Really, really nice variety. And you cannot get this paper. Um, it's rare in the USA. So if you are interested in checking out this paper, it is available right now today in the Sandpaper Road Etsy shop. And I will leave links in the description box where you can actually pick up this paper and all the extras and the cover as well. This cover is a, let me show you how it comes. It comes like this. I, I really, what I really need to do is zoom a little bit here. There, now I feel like I can zoom out a little bit. So the cover is um, much longer. You can see how it went. Okay, and then you use just your own cereal box or chipboard or something like that and make your, your cover and then you don't have the, see, see how it is? You don't have the creases. It's a specially treated paper. I don't know how to explain it, but it's much more durable. It's smooth. Um, you can tell that it's designed that if it was up on your shelf or in a cupboard or a drawer, it will withstand the just natural wear and tear of um, gluing and things that I put on the outside and also just time. So I use that cover. This is the, um, it's like a light wood texture color, uh, cover. Then here's uh, the quotes that I used 
for this project as well. And these quotes, I just cut them apart. And now they do have, this paper is manufactured in Poland. So it on one side, it's got the Polish and on the other side, it's got the English. And then this is the eight by eight paper pack that I used. Do you know that, let me reach back here. Um, even after making that mini album, I also made another card with it and I still have all of these left over in, from that paper pack. And I literally only opened one paper pack to make this album. So a little goes a long way. This is actually, um, let me show you. It is actually 18 sheets. So you get, uh, yeah, 18 double-sided sheets in the eight by eight size. So it's a really, really nice, really, really nice variety. Here is the Project Life um, pack of cards that you get. And you could just cut these apart. They come in varying sizes. Again, you've got the Polish on one side and the English on the other. And when you open it up, let's see, you've got this sheet and then you've got this sheet, which is a little bit bigger. This is great for cards, I think. Great for cards. And then these little frames or little like quotes in frames. So really, really nice. Um, here are, here is the die cut. These are, this is just the plain old, look, I was thought I was going to use that. And the other ones I used in the project itself. And they just pop right out real nice. Some of them have little holes where you could put an eyelet and some of them don't. If that's not your thing. Okay, so that's just the die cuts. Then the rest of them are just the what we call the extras to cut. This is the um, envelopes to cut, and it's a 12 by 12 sheet. That's where I got this um, one right here. Where was it in the album? Yeah, this one. Look at that. Okay, and that, that was this one right here. And I just added, you know, my own little magnet and my own little embellishments but it comes with the nice thing about these is that it comes with these little embellishments as well just to give you a start especially if you're not really big into you know fussy cutting too too much and the envelopes one is double-sided because then when you fold the when you cut this out and fold it into an envelope then you've got something on the inside that looks good it's not just blank paper here is the extras to cut one and it's got uh, all these things on it. It's just a sheet. It's very, very heavy cardstock and it's glittery. As you can see, I'm going to make sure the light hits it. Super nice. And you can cut all those out as I did and use them as embellishments. They don't take long. I just sit with like a, this is, I don't know, a plastic tray from something. I, I mean, it might be razors or something that it's from. And I just stack them all in there as I use them. And I've got a ton left over. Um, I do have some detail scissors. That's super helpful. Um, but yeah, just sitting in front of the TV or, you know, when everybody's doing something. Look at this one. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, my goodness. And again, this one is glittery as well. And it's single-sided. It doesn't make sense to have that be double-sided because you would uh, glue these down. But yeah, can, now I know you're probably, some of you are looking at that going, oh, I would never cut that out. I don't know because I don't have a brother scan and cut if maybe that's what you're thinking if it would work on that the best I would say is to maybe just give it a try maybe pick up one and give it a try in my Etsy shop if you spend over $35 you do get free shipping um, I am gonna say that the benefit of if you're thinking about ordering these products, the benefit of ordering them from Sandpaper Road is that you bypass international shipping. You can always get these from any at any time from Craft O'Clock. Um, but like I said, since they're out of Poland, I believe shipping just flat to start with is in the $35 to $37 range. So if all you want is this much stuff, it would be a shame to pay, you know, what, $20 or so whatever it is your total ends up to be plus 35 extra dollars for shipping um, So I have tried to take care of that for you in um, my Etsy shop So hope, hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of my project and enjoyed seeing these great papers I'm so happy that they're in the shop. I know I had said I think originally October 
that they would be there, but uh, we are a little bit early, and early is always better. So um, thanks so much for joining me. Do check out Sandpaper Road on Etsy and give the um, just give the shop a little browse. These are only available while supplies last. I mean, I only ordered a few. So if you're interested, check them out. And um, if you have questions, certainly there are uh, links below or you can go to sandpaperrobe.com. There's like a contact area where you can contact me there or through Etsy. You know, they have Etsy conversations and things if you've never checked out Etsy before. But I just love this little album. And if you're not a little mini album person, certainly I think this would be great for your... Uh, crafting needs for winter and Christmas and great for scrapbooking, card making, mini albums, flip books, accordion books, exploding boxes. I mean, uh, anything that you're doing, even like decoupage and stuff. Can you imagine when you get like those chipboard shapes or big letters and using this paper for that kind of thing? It, it would just be beautiful. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in the construction of this album, like I said, you can check out. It's a four-part series where I make this same project using wedding paper. And so you can check that out And if you're interested in the construction of it. And um, do check out Sandpaper Road on Facebook, Pinterest, and the whole channel here on YouTube. Also Instagram and again the Etsy shop as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.